Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mr. Dancy Pants, and today we're bringing you another tutorial, this time on the Cutlass Knot. Before we begin, I'd like you to go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like, leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this, please feel free to let me know. And if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. So let's go ahead and take off the vest, undo the knot, and we'll begin. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. So we're going to start this knot with the blade of the tie on the right hand side and it's going to be about four fingers, maybe five fingers above our belt line. Now we're going to go ahead and crease it and bring it into the middle right here, right over our button line, just like this. We're going to take the tail of the tie, we're going to bring it over the top, under, and up through the center and over. Now we're going to bring it behind from right to left and then we're going to bring it up over the front and back down through the middle. Now you want this to be fairly tight, good and, and tightened up so it's a small connection here. Now we're going to take the tail of the tie and going from right to left, we're going to bring this over the front. Now this should look very familiar. This is very similar to a lot of the other knots, but this is where it's going to change. We're going to bring it up and over like this. And this is where we're going to take our ring here and we're going to thread it through the ring and we're going to just kind of leave this sort of up and over, kind of out of the way. Now, instead of tucking through the center the way we do with some knots, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up here. So we're gonna tuck our finger in here and create a loop. And we're gonna feed the tail of the tie up through that loop right here. And we're gonna bring that all the way up. Now we're gonna to have to finesse this just a little bit you can see how this is creating this loop here. Now, we're gonna take the tail of the tie over top of the knot like that. So it's gonna, you can see how it's kind of tucking behind through there. Now we're gonna tug on the top of the loop here to tighten up this little cross section here. Now we're going to take the tail and bring that through. So you can actually fiddle with this depending on the thickness of your tie and how big you want this, this loop, this basket hilt loop. You can have some variability here. So we're going to go ahead and bring that down just a little bit. Now, with this, you're going to go ahead and tuck that into the gap between the collar button and the first button, wherever that falls on your shirt. So that is good and secure. And you can set this over. And I like to give it just another, once I've adjusted this to where I want it, like that, because that will loosen this section here. I will then readjust by tugging up and forward there. All right, so now we're going to take the blade of the tie and we're going to feed that through the ring just like this, bring it up and through, and that's going to secure the ring here. Now, what you can do as a variation is bring this back out. If you've got enough tail to play with, you can bring that through as well, but that's going to give you a little bit of, of sort of a cape knot Wait till I'm back in focus, there we go. That's gonna give you a little bit of a cape knot shape, which is perfectly fine. It's, it's perfectly acceptable as a variation, but I like that, I personally like that stark contrast of having the tight waist of the tie and then 
the ring, especially if I'm wearing a dark shirt as I am right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and retuck that back in, just like that. And now we've got this ring floating down, retighten and drop our collar. And then we can adjust, massage the knot a little bit there and get it as we see fit. So there you have the gap through here, which you can always monitor and, and adjust throughout the day as you need. And it's held in place by the weight of the ring. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The cutlass knot is an excellent knot to wear, especially if you're wearing a vest that covers up the uh, distance between the tip of the blade and the belt. Some people don't like a whole lot of distance in between there, but in order to get enough of the tail, we're gonna need to bring the blade up a little bit. So until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you then.